What's up guys, we are back with another video of Dead by Daylight. Gonna be playing the killer again. Go into a little bit more depth, hopefully, on things now that I kind of introduced what the objectives are and stuff like that. So I'm gonna set a trap. I don't see a building all that close to me, so I'm just gonna set it in front of this window. I like setting them in front of windows, and I like using my first trap as quickly as possible, because you can find another one, as you can see, right over here. So you can try to set as many of them as possible as quickly as possible. Um, before they go crazy with the generator stuff. So I hear some noise over here. I'm going to head in that direction. I try to look off in the distance, kind of the horizon, to see if I can see crows or any heads peek out. He's still on this. I can hear the wrenching. Headphones are very useful when playing the killer in this game because there are a lot of subtle sounds like this door that I heard. I heard the screech sound of that door, so I knew he was inside of one of those. When I come around the corner, I see it, and I know exactly where he is. That one's pretty obvious. You can probably hear it with speakers. Um, but when survivors are injured, for, in for instance, they make this like pitiful groaning sound. And uh, the directional, being able to hear that in, heads in a good headset is very key to knowing exactly where they are. You can kind of track them with that. So I'm going to set up a trap right under him in case someone tries to free him. Either he, when he's set free, he'll step in the trap, or the other guy might step in the trap. Makes it a lot harder and a lot more risky to free the person. Let's see if I can get another trap. It's likely there's another person around and they're going to try to free him. Unless it's the basement, it's... Pretty common to see survivors. Yeah, there he is. I figured I'd just take another quick look. Alright, well, we got one of them back in the trap. I think it was the other one, so he freed his friend and he's gonna get hooked himself for it. And you can see he got caught in that bear trap. Whereas, if I hadn't laid it down, he would have just been injured. Now we got two injured people and one hooked person, which is pretty decent since they haven't even gotten one generator yet. You can see all that in the bottom left. The perk I'm running right now, uh, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's uh, if you stand still for six seconds, there. when you're playing Survivor, there's this heartbeat. Whenever the monster or the killer gets within a certain range of you. Um, my perk when I stand still for five or six seconds, it takes that heartbeat away so I can kind of hide and wait for someone to come to an objective and they won't know that I'm there until I move. It can be pretty strong when you're guarding someone that's hooked. Hi, I don't know why you're there. Alright, well, I guess she heard the heartbeat. She didn't know what direction I was coming from and was standing next to that stack of pallets to try to drop it on me. So we will throw her up on a hook. We got one death already, so technically according to the game I've won. But I don't usually count it as a win for myself unless I get three. She freed herself? I guess she must have freed herself. Well, you just ran straight into me. Grab her again. Put her up on this hook. Wait. That's not working. Did I not grab her? I could have swore I grabbed her. Uh... Am I crazy? Did I not pick her up? Oh, you know what? She disconnected. There's a plug in the bottom left. I was really confused there. I knew I picked her up. Well, it's pretty likely that she would have died anyway. I see the hatch spawned in this room. It's right in front of me to the bottom left there. So that's good to know where that is as the killer. Alright, so they got two generators left. 
we'll count it as two kills. She would have been in struggle phase anyway because she uh, got off the hook once. So another thing I can talk about is that generator. I know that they haven't started work on that because the little pistons aren't firing and it's not making noise. When they are in like the middle of repairing it, uh, the pistons will be firing that you see up at the top. I'll see if I can find one that it is firing. This one. You can hear it. And you can see there's three pistons firing. So I know that they're about 75% of the way complete with it. And obviously they were standing right there, but... Uh, a lot of time they'll move away as soon as they hear the heartbeat or as soon as they see you coming in the distance. And so you can use that to know if there's probably a survivor hiding in the area and you can kind of look uh, around the area see if you can see them hiding behind a tree or something. Think about what you would do as a survivor in that situation and try to just look around some cover to see if you can scare them out. A lot of the time you won't even see them, but they'll panic and just start running. You can also trap up a generator that has seen some uh, some repairs done to it and possibly catch somebody that way as well. I do really like the Trapper class. I don't know what the other ones do exactly. I've heard the Hillbilly is like a chainsaw wielding guy that like charges or something. And I think there's somebody who stealths of some kind. but I do definitely like the traps. I think that this this can separate uh, like a good killer and a bad killer by using good trap placement. I don't think I'm even good at it yet because I'm still learning the maps. The maps are always different. There's like four... Uh, there's always a killer shack and then there's four different buildings and they can be placed slightly different with the uh, pallets and all of the like generators being placed slightly different as well. But I think there's specific tile sets to each one, so you will learn generally where it is. Same as uh, in Evolve, where there would be wildlife buffs. It's There's like two or three different sets for each map. So you can think of this overall map, overall location, having four maps inside of it with that the main building changing uh, each time, and then a couple of different tile sets in each one probably. Which adds a good amount of variety without making their art department cry, basically. It gives us a little bit of variety with not much work on their end, which is fine. And then there's going to be two additional location uh, with each having four main buildings also. So there'll be a decent amount of variety and hopefully more to come. Alright, so I'm not really seeing anybody. I'm trying to watch these generators, you know, you can see I'm I'm looking around to see if anybody's hiding in this corner. There's only one person left, so I mean the hatch is open. This might actually be a situation where if I catch them, I might see if I can throw them to the hatch because I know where it is. Although I have it trapped up quite a bit. I, I sometimes do that. If I find the hatch, I usually won't just drop them at the door or drop them at a generator because that takes too long. But if I know where the hatch is, a lot of people don't know it exists. It's kind of a myth to some people. There he is. Still going after this generator. Um, so a lot of time I'll, just I'll show somebody something new that they might not know about. And if they do know about it, they get a win out of it anyway. I get a win out of it because I've already killed one person. Or in this case, three. So let's see if I decide to uh, decide to take him over here. I don't know where I make I am exactly. I'd like to take him to it, but let's see. Okay, there's the building. He's gonna probably wiggle free though. I'm not gonna make it in time. So you can see he's kind of like disrupting my movement, and he's got a bar on his screen that if he fills it, he gets free. I think he's probably gonna yeah he's gonna get free. That's unfortunate. Go to the hatch. He didn't go right there. He could have made it. Alright, well, I tried to I tried to let him be free. Unfortunately, if I catch him again, I think I'm going to end up killing him. Because I would have easily been able to kill him there if I would have just went straight to him. I thought I was 
just close enough that I can make it, but looks like I couldn't. What I'm not sure about is if I threw him on the ground. I think he crawls if I throw him on the ground and I can pick him back up and it might reset the wiggle timer. I'm not sure about that though. It's something I should probably try. I could like test it out with other people that own the game as well. And he's right back to the same one. I knew you were where you were gonna be. I'm gonna kill you this time. Could have been free. I would have shown you the ways of the hatch. Now you're gonna get me hooked. And he won't be able to go through struggle phase because I can just camp him, so he's gonna insta die. So that'll be game right there. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.